Hi, I'm Drew Martijn. In this video lesson I will demonstrate how you can take a double paradiddle like this. And turn it into a 6-8 Afro-Cuban Nanigo or Bembe groove like this. Sounds interesting? Then let's get into it. Ok, so how to get from a basic rudiment to a polyrhythmic Latin drum groove. I'm going to talk you to the process step by step. And step 1, let's have a look at the double paradiddle. Obviously a snare drum rudiment with the sticking right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. If you're not familiar with this rudiment yet, then please practice this one first. Start slowly and then speed up gradually. Like this. Step 2. We're gonna play our double paradiddle as a double paradiddle groove. To do so, we're gonna move our right hand from the snare drum to the hi-hat and we're gonna add a kick drum to the very first downbeat. It should sound like this. Now this groove will sound better when all the snare drums are played as ghost notes. Only accent the backbeat halfway the sticking. Like this. Little faster. On itself, this is a very cool and useful groove to have in your repertoire. And you'll probably notice also some resemblance to the halftime shuffle. I recommend to experiment with various bass drum patterns and this groove also sounds great on the right cymbal or bell. Here are some ideas. Step 3. To turn our double paradiddle groove into an actual Afro-Cuban groove, we have to make two important alterations. The first one is a slight adjustment to our main sticking. Instead of the double left at the end of the double paradiddle, we're now gonna play left right at the end. And that will sound like this. Note that when I'm only playing my right hand, you suddenly will hear that typical sound of the bell pattern of the bembe groove. And it will sound even better on the bell of the right or 
the cowbell, like this. Step 4. The other thing I'd like you to adjust can be a bit more complicated. Because I want you to change the way you're counting this groove in your head. Probably up till now, because of the heavy backbeat, you were counting this groove like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or maybe like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like a regular blues rock type of groove. But these 6, 8 Afro-Cuban grooves are counted like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. If you want, you can also think of a 12, 8, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Or maybe even uh, 8 note triplets in a 4 4 time signature, like this 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet. Either way, I want you to count this groove and feel this groove in your body like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And therefore, we're gonna add a new foot ostinato to our groove. Basically, I'm gonna play dotted quarter notes with both my feet, sounding like this. 1, 2, 1, 2. So, very basic stuff. But now we're gonna add our bell pattern, the ghost notes, and the backbeat to it. Like this. Slowly. Okay, almost there. For our fifth and final step, we're gonna do something even more challenging. We're gonna add a conga or tembale pattern to our main groove, played with our left hand. Like this. Three, four. Combining the patterns of both hands, so the bell pattern with your right hand and this timbale pattern with your left hand, can be a bit tricky. Because partly it's unison, but partly it isn't. Therefore, I urge you to practice this very slowly at first, and to really make sure that you're playing it the correct way. It should sound like this.
Now let's combine this with our previous foot ostinato and let's have some fun. Well, there you go. We went from a double paradiddle on the snare drum to a polyrhythmic Afro-Cuban drum groove. I hope you've enjoyed the ride and have fun learning this one. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm Drew Martijn. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.